everybody, Sponge Murphy here. How are you all getting on today? Right, so it's been roughly about a week and a bit since the... Ugh. Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here. How are you all getting on today? Right, so it's been roughly about a week and a half since the Age of Sigmar Skirmish rulebook first came out. And I've been looking through it and I'm getting excited about making some war bands, yes. So one of my favourite clans, one of my favourite armies in Warhammer is the Skaven Clan Asian. So I started to make a few lists for them. And I'm going to show you three lists that I made. Now these, this list is going to be 50 points. It says recommended probably doing 25 for starting a campaign. But... That's fine for starting a campaign. If you want to just build a war band, just to build one, I think 50 points is kind of a decent starting point. Um, no, I did have to add some things in because there is only two choices for Clan Asian, the Death Runner and the Night Runners. So I've really tried to team this around the old Mordheim rules where you used to have um, Night Runners, Gutter Runners, um, Rat Ogres and what was the other one? A Gracier, Clan Nation used to have Graciers. So I've tried I've tried to mix it with a bit of the new one with a bit of the old mixed in with cut with the video game Mordheim because that's what I've been playing a lot lately and that's pretty true to the rules, the old Mordheim rules. So with that let's just jump into the list and have a look. Okay, so the first list I went with was a pretty straightforward clan Asian list with just a little small bit added into it. So with my hero choice I went with the debt runner coming in at 24 points and of course with the rules for the debt runner there's two models instead of one until one kind of gets exposed but that's a really cool fit for this and then i added in 10 night runners for 20 points and um, unfortunately you have to use the old models for the night runners but they're not too bad and um, i think 10 of them might be enough for a war band they do have low armor save i think it's like just a six plus but just to kind of diversify it a bit i added just 10. i could have added another i think it was another three to, to fill up to the 50. but um i in the end i just chose to add in um six giant rats coming in at six points they're only a point each they're not necessarily clan asian but out of everything else that was there there was no rat swarms or anything so I think Giant Rats would suit Clan Nation, a Clan Nation Warband pretty well. Um, so all together this adds up to 50 points. I think it has a little bit of everything. If anything you might be a little bit short on the Giant Rats. But I'm not too sure about the Warband setting yet. So you have your, your hero choice, your, kind of your strong hero. You have your 10 Night Runners. So you have the numbers, you have the, the amount of bodies in it. To fight your way through and then just for a little bit of, of a surprise a low point cost we have six giant rats pretty standard list i think since there is only two choices for clan Asian with the debt runner and the night runners um i think just the addition of the giant rats is, is just a nice little thing to tip them over a little bit so let's have a look at the second list so for list number two i really wanted to add a little bit of the old mordheim rules from oh god i don't know how long ago it is but it's kind of a mixture of the mordheim rulebook for clan asian and the mordheim video game which has uh skaven in it but it's clan asian as well and they just don't have night runners and assassins you can also add a rat ogre in with them so i went with the dead runners of course for my hero that's coming at 24 points the rat ogre is only 12 points which i thought was really cool and then I couldn't fit 10 night runners in it so I had to uh, lower it down to just 7 and that all adds up to 50 points. So I think this is a nice addition. Um, I think this really is a really diverse mixture. Again you have your heroes, you have your you have a couple of night runners for your bodies, for your amount of main to fill it up the warband. And then you have your heavy hitter in your rat ogre. Now if you really wanted it you could add like a second rat ogre because you, you can get a unit of 3Ds in, in a warband I'm pretty sure. But... They kind of fit with the old Mordheim rules and the old Mordheim setting. You can only have one Rat Ogre at a time. So I, and I kind of like it at that. It puts more emphasis on how strong a Rat Ogre, rat ogre can be. Um, instead of just throwing a couple of them out there. So I think this is a little bit more diverse than the previous list. Um, and so I think it's a pretty cool idea to add a, a Rat Ogre into it. So let's have a look at the final list, number 3. So list number 3 has only one choice from the Clan Asian Warband faction. 
but again I'm using it from the Mordheim rules so I added in a Gracier. Now this Gracier he, he used to has he used to have a staff but I changed it to like two assassin blades but he has the horns that a, a Gracier for Clan Asian can have. Again I based this a, an awful lot off the video game um, but the Gracier was in the old Mordheim rules as well. So the Gracier is coming in at 24 points so it's just an exact swap out for the Death Runners. And again, it's just seven night runners and a rat ogre. And the way this works in the video game was to really get the best out of your rat ogre, you'd want to have your clan action gracier with him to keep him in check. Um, and I think this adds a little bit of diversity as well because you're getting, you're finally getting a little bit of magic that you can have, um, as well as having the range shooting from the night runners and then your co uh, close combat um, power. Or your close combat strength from the Rat Ogre. Although the Rat Ogre I think can be equipped with some ranged weapons as well. But I think this list is the one that's closest to a Mordheim Warband. And I really like this list. Um, the only other thing they had was... I think it was it was more of just of a... Well I suppose you could add a hero or a warlord in as well. That could do for your hero. But I um, yeah, I kind of like, maybe, you see, there's no assassin, I'm trying to think. Maybe if you did add, add a warlord in and set him up with some, try and have him with some assassin weapons. I'm, I must have a look at the war scroll and see what it's like. But anyway, that's it for list three. Hopefully you like these lists. Um, again, all of these add up to 50 points and they're just, they're fun to build. I really like doing this. And eventually I'm going to want to start to build one of these from scratch. I want to paint them and convert them up to really suit the warband that I'm wanting to make. I really want a themed warband. I don't want to just slap some models together and just say, yeah, that's my warband. I want it to have like a backstory and everything and hopefully I can do that. So anyway, if you guys like this video, if you like the warbands or if you would change any of these, make sure to let me know. If you've come up with your own warbands, I'd really like to hear about it. But make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and comment. And once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video.